Hey guys, so today's January the 6th. Uh, we just finished come back from the new place. Got a couple things here we gotta do before you start milking in the evening. So these dry cows right here, I'm just gonna toss another bucket of feed in there. And then we're also gonna go and uh, clean out the calf barn today. It's a nice day, it's only minus one. I was gonna do it yesterday, but today was a nicer day, so we just figured we'll do it today. So yeah, let's get at it. Look for this logo for Honest Canadian Dairy. So this dry cow feed we just dump on the ground here. We only do this in winter. And also, once we move the cows into the new place, we won't be doing this at all, actually. So, this is just temporary, and it works fairly well. So this is where we keep all the extra cows that don't fit in the barn. There's actually 30, there's 39 on here right now. And then this is what we're gonna clean up. There's a concrete pad right here. And then this we don't clean up in winter time. We wait till spring, just so we don't, we're not digging up all our gravel that we have under there. So I'm just gonna move all these gates and then we can just scrape it that way and it'll be good. I guess all the cows are curious to what I'm doing. I haven't done this in actually probably two weeks now. So it is, there's gotta be at least two feet of manure here. And this is what I'm talking about right here. So we bring them in to milk cows right here. I'll show you guys quick. Okay. Open this door. And then we milk five in here. We just plug the milk line machines into here. And it goes to the milk house. And then when they leave, they come sit in this pen and then they stay here until we run them all through. And then these doors are getting pretty hard to open. There's just too much manure pushing against them. Same with the water. Scrape this all out, we'll throw it over there. And then make these cows be able to walk in here a little easier.
So this conger here is actually pretty, it's actually grooved. When we did pour it, we made uh, so this concrete here it's actually grooved. There is a bit of frozen stuff. Can't really grab too much. We're not really trying to make this perfect, but we need it clean. So this will do for now. I'm gonna just take a shovel, scrape all this out of here, throw it in here, do one last pass, and then the cows should be happy. Hey girl. No, well, she doesn't like me. So now they're all gonna check out what I just did. It's gonna be a lot easier for them to walk here now. Also, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to open and close the doors while we're milking. All good things, so. We're gonna move on to the calf barn now before it gets dark. So here, this is our calf barn. This is what we use. There's a straw pack in there. And then also the little ones that are about two, two months old, roughly. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna chase them out. They're gonna stay here in between these buildings while we clean it out. And then we're just gonna stockpile it right there in that pile for now. Usually I would not like to pile it there, but it's winter time. And then this we use to haul manure and it's just too cold for that to really work properly. The oil will never lift it, or it will lift it. It'll just take forever. And then we pile it out there in the pasture and then we haul it to the field after that. So we're gonna kick some cows out here and then we'll start cleaning them out. So we got a straw pack here. There's six pens in the front. They're a bit dirty. We were supposed to actually do this this morning, but I just waited till it was a little bit warmer outside. So this is where they're gonna stay. They're gonna stay all in here. We're gonna close this up so they can't get back in here. And we'll give them some nice fresh bedding. big straw pack at all. We try to clean it out every two weeks to a week and a half roughly. It really depends on the weather in the winter time. We definitely do not want to be opening that door when it's minus 40 outside because the cows will just get real sick and all get pneumonia and it'll just be a really big mess. So we, we do pick our days when we do clean this calf run out. Warmer the better honestly. So sometimes we might even go three weeks to a month without cleaning it out. But we just keep giving it more and more straw. And then the little calves up there, we do just leave them there. I try to be very gentle so they're not scaring them too much.
got it all nice and clean in here. I brought a bail in. We're just gonna cut the twine off it. And then we'll peel a couple layers off, spread it out, and we'll pull the bale over into the corner and bring the calves back inside. Yeah, so now we're ready to bring them all back in. This is where we bring the leftover bale. So we do this so we don't have to actually open the door every single day to give them fresh straw. It does take a bit of room up in here, but it's way better to do this than to open these doors every single day and just let cold air in. It'll just get all these little guys all sick. Isn't that right? Yeah. So I'd say they're all pretty happy. They do like to run around all the time when they come back in through that door. I don't know why. Maybe they're excited to come back into some fresh, clean straw. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. There is some stuff I do post on my Instagram. The uh, Instagram is in my description. Look at it, follow me. There's some stuff I post on my stories that I will never post on YouTube. So check it out, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.